The centenary year has been a really big deal here at St. Leo's. Uh, we've spent a lot of time both planning for it and across the course of the last year delivering it. And for me, there's been a whole range of highlights. Uh, at the start of the year, we unveiled the bust of St. Leo the Great. Uh, further on during the course of the year, we hosted uh, a massive centenary ball, an event that we sold out in seven minutes. And such was the level of popularity of that event that we had to run a parallel event downstairs in a function room under the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Centre. For me, I suppose the highlight would be the day we got together the Papal Nuncio, the Archbishop, the Chair of the College Council, the 2017 Student Club President and residents who are residing here on the 30th of September, exactly 100 years to the day that St Leo's came into existence and we took a photograph that recreated the day that we came into existence 100 years ago. Some things never change. We are related to and connected to Duchesne next door and those things will keep on going on. The other thing that it, it, I guess it impacted upon me was the, the network of friends and, and colleagues that uh, I developed over, over the years and still, uh, still see a number of them at the present moment. And the most significant impact in my life of being at St Leo's was that I married a Duchesne woman and, and, and we've been married now for 44 years. We are on about educating or, or forming uh, through their experience here at St Leo's the whole man, the whole person, through exposing our residents to the real world, to engage them in social justice activities, and, and critically, that they can uh, celebrate not what they did while they were at St Leo's, but what they did because they were at St Leo's, and what, they then, what difference they made to other people and people in the world. I think the best memory this year in the centenary would be just the ball. The ball was, it was awesome. We saw the old boys there. Um, that the, I don't know, the mateship that they share and the mateship we share is so similar and it was just, it was enlightening to see um, that bond that we, that everyone has there and it was just awesome. Um, FNK Cup was another great day, it was um, against Kings. We didn't get the win but just the atmosphere around that place was really good and yeah. Well, the next century, I guess we just continue what, um, what we've started already and build on what we have in the first century. It was, it's been years and years of history that's built up and I think we just need to continue that. The, the mateship that we share is something pretty special like no other place. Well, it's been an interesting experience transitioning from a resident to an old boy and now to a staff member. I've got to see both sides of the fence, so to speak but I've really enjoyed my experience um, working here and helping, helping the current residents um, navigate this tricky world of university as well as trying to enhance their experience so they get the most out of it. I think Leo's will still stick true to its values that it was founded on and that it will still be a great place for young men to come to learn, grow and make lifelong friendships. Well, uh, it was of course established on, the, on Wickham Terrace in two fairly old buildings and I suppose the first thing that struck anyone coming there in those years were the, was that the living conditions were very primitive. Uh, it was really a great place and uh, uh, one quickly overlooked the uh, limitations in the physical attributes of the place. I've often said that uh, the two years I spent at Leo's was probably the happiest two years of my life. Uh, faith was always a pretty important part of my life, so I think it played a not insignificant role. Uh, it was a building block in my faith life. This is a place where I formed lifelong friendships, and I still have some of those friends today. The motto of the college too, Dominus Illuminatio, Illuminatio Mea, is the motto of Oxford University. So that was another choice that set St Leo's and the University of Queensland within a much bigger story of universities down through the ages. So I only hope that the best of the past will continue into the future. I congratulate the college and all associated with it for a, an extraordinary story of, of 100 years. What is certain is the story is not over. We have heaps of challenges and uncertainties as we look ahead. But uh, in my heart of hearts, I am sure that St Leo's will nestle at the heart of the University of Queensland, representing all that is best about the very, very rich Catholic tradition that brought the college to birth. So my ambitions and hopes for this place for the next 100 years 
is that we continue to produce great young men who go on and make marvellous contributions to the state of Queensland and the nation Australia more broadly.